Now there's one other really great feature of Scalar, and we haven't talked about it yet, and that's the ability to listen to incoming MIDI clips and decide which scale those clips fall into. Now I might give you more than one option, but it'll tell you how accurate each one of those options is depending on the notes used from the scale itself. And then once you have that scale, you can then start building your own chord progressions using Scalar without ever having to leave the plug and being completely sure that what you're doing is falling inside of the key of your track and it's just phenomenal. So let's go ahead and check out the detect feature. Let's go ahead and click start and then play some notes on the keyboard. Hit stop, and first of all, it shows us what notes were pressed. If it's just one letter, it means it's just one note, and then the chords are these bigger boxes right here. And if we come down here to the detected scales, you'll see that the A minor scale is number one in the list. And that means given the incoming MIDI, Scalar has decided this is the best scale that fits the MIDI that it just received. And again, you wanna check out how many notes. We got seven out of seven notes and three out of three chords that fit inside of the A minor scale. The D Dorian mode is actually the same, but because of what notes we played at first and what chords came, it's saying that A minor fits better. Though D Dorian mode is actually on the same level, it just has to do with the sequence of the notes and chords, okay? So if we come down here to say G sharp minor pentatonic scale, only one note fit inside of there and none of the chords did. So that's obviously not what we wanna do. Now another feature I wanna bring to your attention is the style. It's telling you about the scale. So A minor scale is generally considered serious, sad, emotional, sentimental, while the D Dorian is jazzy, bluesy, rock, and sophisticated. So these both fit the notes that were fed into Scalar, so they both might work depending on what kind of feeling you want for your particular track. Now, another thing that's really cool is, let's say I have a piece of MIDI. If I jump into Ableton Live here, I've got this MIDI clip here, and it's just untitled, and it has a bunch of notes inside, and I'm not good at music theory, so I don't know what that is. I can actually drop that on the Scalar channel, open up Scalar, come into Detect, and hit Clear, and then Detect again, Start, and go ahead and play that MIDI. hit stop, and now I know that the, that MIDI fits into the G minor scale. Now, as you can see, it says it's not 100% because there's one note that doesn't fit and one chord that doesn't fit. So you'll see right here that the notes and chords that aren't fitting inside of the suggested key are highlighted or not highlighted and they're kind of gray around the edges there. These ones in the blue, as I said before, fit perfectly inside of the scales or the suggested scale and these ones don't fit. So again, what we can start doing now is building a chord progression that's gonna fit the notes that we've fed into it. And because Scalar has detected it's the G minor scale, I've got all of my G minor chords chords that fit inside of that scale right down here. So now that we have a suggested scale that we know is the closest match to the notes we fed into it, we can start building our own progressions around that scale. And another quick note, if you ever wanna remove just one of the chords and not hit the clear button, which clears everything, you can just right click it and hit remove and then change your chord easily enough. And one final note, you can save the chord set inside of Scalar if you wanna save your particular chord set that you like and not save it as a MIDI file inside your DAW by just hitting the save as chord set and giving it a name and hitting okay. And it will be saved to your computer, which you can then load using the user menu right here, just as you did with the artist and genres. So anyway, that's a basic, basic run through of what Scalar is capable of. I find myself using it in almost every project, whether I'm looking for a suggestion for something I already have, or just trying to get started with an idea. Scalar has got me covered between the suggestions and those artist series packs, and I can't wait to get the new packs that are coming in the final download. If you're seeing this video, Scalar is available in Plugin Boutique. Go check it out, check out the trial version, check out the new artist packs, and get started making incredible chord progressions today. I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time.